Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is about Halloween and how I carve pumpkins. I have been wanting to do this for a long time. I have been carving fairly intricate pumpkins for since about 1997 and I've kind of gotten it down in my process and everything and I've wanted to do the video year after year of how I do it but I thought oh it would just be too boring for people so what I did I put it on Instagram well Instagram stories you know I, I went through the process yesterday Instagram stories are 15 seconds or so each so it ended up I had like a ton of 15 second stories so I thought well that's too long to put on Instagram so I took all of those and I uh, put it in my program my editing program and decided to put it on here on YouTube uh, if anybody is interested so some of you may have seen it on Instagram before I took it down if so just skip this video it's a repeat but um, I, I, I just love Halloween I love carving pumpkins I just I just really enjoy it this year uh, my seven grandchildren we're going to go out on the carport today and we're going to carve pumpkins according to their skill level and I'm really looking forward to that so I thought I would put this video up and introduce what I did on Instagram that I'm going to upload here now on Instagram the stories are vertical instead of horizontal so it was shot with my cell phone and the stories are going to all be vertical so i hope that doesn't detract from being able to follow what, what i'm saying but i had such a good time doing them this year i'm going to do more today i will probably carve one at least one more tomorrow i think a show about four periodically through while i'm doing it and i just had such a good time uh, i will i've got my orange on and my pumpkin spice makeup on today i will have to change for the grandkids get here because it is a messy process but i'm just so looking forward to it it's there's just a chill in the air and the leaves have turned and it's just i don't know it's just a magical time i love this time of year and i love carving these pumpkins it is a blast for me this year the holidays you know with the pandemic and everything the holidays have just really it's going to be a different look in Halloween this year probably for most of us and so doing something like carving pumpkins is just a really good way to kind of feel normal again and that's that's can be really important so I hope you try it and I hope you enjoy it and I really appreciate you watching this so much everybody stay safe and have a really really safe Halloween love you all talk to you in a couple of days bye bye okay I love Halloween <laughs> I love Halloween I love carving pumpkins and I like carving scary pumpkins like shrieking and stuff <laughs> like all that it's fun so i saw that food city had uh pumpkins two for ten dollars so i'm gonna get a couple of more and redo um, well i'm gonna do some different ones different patterns but um yeah i i love carving pumpkins and friday and probably maybe into Saturday I'm lining all my grandkids up and we're gonna carve pumpkins I don't know how that's gonna go but we're gonna do it and I tell you if y'all don't see me in the next few days just send somebody in because I will be covered in pumpkins I won't eat I won't do anything except I'll get I get fixed look I've got laundry behind me piled up out and sorted that I need to do but I get fixated on carving pumpkins every year and I will do a ton of them because I can't stop. I love them. I love carving pumpkins. Isn't that ridiculous? Okay, a couple of people have asked me to, and I just wear the same shirt because it's, it's going to get pumpkin on it, is to go through the process of doing pumpkins. I've got two more I'm getting ready to do. The first thing that's going to happen is fruit fry. Flies are going to appear and just do that old trick. You take a cup of warm water and you add oh, a couple of tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to it one table one drop of dish soap and kind of stir it up with your finger and the fruit flies will be attracted to it and they will drown in it oh, it sounds terrible but they do and uh, then you you're rid of your fruit your fruit flies so i'm going to take my saw 
and I'm going to saw around the top. Now, a uh, personal preference, but I prefer to saw the top of it out instead of the bottom. A lot of people like to do the bottom. Better put that down. I like to do the top. I like the old-fashioned look of a little bit of light coming through the top of the pumpkin where it doesn't quite fit or it sort of fits, you know, almost. I like that look. So that's why I do it at the top. Okay, after I get the guts out of it, there it is in there, then I like to kind of wipe it off. Um, you know, I get all the strings out, get it pretty clean inside. I like to look at it and kind of assess it. Uh, so I turn it you know, different ways, and that's gonna be hard to see any pattern I put on there because of these, where it laid there on in the pumpkin patch. That's got some places right there. So what I think I'm gonna do, I think that area right here looks to be about the best. So I'm gonna wipe it down and mark it. So this area through here, I'm gonna have to thin out very, very thin. I'm gonna have to thin it out on a straight pin where it's about that thin, about like that. When I stick it through from the inside out, it should just be about right there. That makes the best edges and it's the easiest to do. So I'm going to mark here and mark on the other side right there. And I know that this area right here is the area I want to thin out. And I got all my tools in 1997. So I don't know where I got them or I just have no idea. I use little saws of different, but I think you can buy them in Halloween kits on the internet. But I don't have any source or anything. But this helps a whole lot to thin it. On one side are little teeth and that, that scrapes kind of the surface of it. The other side is a blade. I think this is like a clay molding instrument. You probably could get it at, I don't know where you could get it, probably at Hobby Lobby or any kind of craft shop. But this one takes big, big strips and cuts it through because you've got you've to scrape it thin. So I have been scraping and it looks thin enough, but to check it, I take a straight pin, go in the middle, where I've been scraping from the inside out until I can see the, the sharp point of the pin on the outside, and then mark it with my finger and pull it out, and it should be about right there, that, that thin. And it is, so I'm ready to go to the next step. The next step I'm gonna do is wash it out in cool water, or cold water, inside and out, and dry it out, and just get it nice and clean thing to do is pick out your pattern and you can get free patterns uh, on the internet uh, just google free pumpkin carving patterns or uh, you know a phrase like that and you'll get a lot um, I think with children the thing to do is do it age appropriate and according to their abilities my grandson that's six almost seven is I'm gonna help him do just a simple little jack lantern with a few pieces but it's within his ability so my, my nine-year-old granddaughter is going to do this doggy, more complicated with a few more pieces, and she's gonna be carving out the dark areas. Nine-year-old grandson is either, he's doing one of these and it's wrinkled, I'm gonna have to straighten it out. I'm not sure which one, something to do with Pokemon. My 13-year-old, one of my 13-year-old granddaughters is gonna do the TikTok symbol. And the other 13-year-old daughter likes wolves, so she's gonna do this one. And two more, that leaves two more. And they want to, they don't want, they want their pumpkins to last a long time, so they are going to paint. My daughter-in-law's mother is an artist, so she's gonna help them paint. One of them's gonna do a wolf, and the other one's gonna do a horse. So we're gonna have a big day planned tomorrow. Patterns narrowed down for my next one. I think I'm gonna go with the skull. I think it would be, it's going to be kind of scary to see the light coming through the eyes, where eyeballs were and the nose and stuff. So that's cute. Well, not cute, but keep your pattern on there. And sometimes you kind of have to like do little folds and stuff like that. You take an instrument that's real sharp, like a darning needle. This is just some kind of pick. And then you start doing little holes. All on the lines of the pattern. 
all the way around. I've got holes punched all the way, and this is what it looks like when you take it off. It's got lots and lots of little dots in it. You can kind of see them. You can see it better in person. And uh, there, you can kind of see it at the side like that. So you take this, and you refer to it, and you you saw out all the little, here's my saws. This is the bigger saw. And, well, that was the smaller saw here. No, that's the bigger saw. This is the smaller saw. So I just saw the little areas. You start with the, the smaller pieces first. Um, you know, like, like this piece right here these pieces, these little pieces. So it's a little hard to see, but I'm kind of used to looking at it. But just refer back to your pattern and saw out the dark, dark pieces, and I'll show you what it looks like. It is done, and the last step is to all the edges that you cut, put some Vaseline around it. Uh, if you can keep it in a cool place, that's good. Uh, I usually keep mine on the back porch. I've read not to put it outside, but... I put mine on the back porch where it's protected, and um, I've never had any problems of it rotting earlier or drying out earlier. The Vaseline helps seal the moisture in. That's how I do my pumpkins. Um, I hope it wasn't too boring. I know it's a lot of, lot of stories, so I do apologize for that. So anyway, happy carving.